Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channel. Please check the description to know more about the channels. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Barabar Cave System in India, 200 to 300 BC. The caves are carved in gneiss, as hard as granite. Vaults, floors, and ceilings are polished to a shine. The acoustics and ventilation of the caves are ideal. There are reservoirs for water and hermetic closing of the doorways. There is a version that the caves were used in ancient times as a bomb shelter. The vaults are capable of withstanding a nuclear strike. Ancient skeletons with high levels of radiation are often found in the vicinity. The bathtub of Nessa Alcoitl is a perfectly round-shaped pool carved in hard porphyry rock, located in the eastern part of the Mexican Valley. The visible long flat sloping grooves on the walls of the basin are reminiscent of a drill. Similar fissures, like the one that goes over the edge of the basin, appear when there is excessive rotational loading. Not that the Aztec technology is questionable, but it is difficult to imagine a drill or rig capable of making a hole 1.5 meters in diameter in the rock. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Salbic Barrow, Cacus Stonehenge. Salbic Burial Mound is located in the tract Salbic, 60 kilometers from Abakan in the Republic of Kakasha. It is often compared with the English Stonehenge, although the Siberian Mound is much larger. And these plates raise many questions. The fact is that the height of some of them is 8 meters and weighs about 60 tons. Moreover, they were mined in the quarry, which is located 50 kilometers from the mound. And it is absolutely unclear how exactly these multi-ton boulders were delivered here many centuries ago, and how they could be installed in an upright position. After the Aral Sea dried up, the remains of an ancient temple were found at its bottom. Archaeologists who arrived at the site found that the structure refers to the 11th to 14th centuries AD, and that, oddly enough, it is a copy of the Asawi Mausoleum in Turkestan. Not far from the temple found were burial sites of warriors, also found workshops for the production of pottery for construction and entertainment. The remains of people and cattle were found randomly scattered, which suggests that they died in a fairly short time, and this death was sudden and there was no one to bury them. It turns out that the Aral Sea is not drying up, and this is not the sea at all, but the consequences of flooding. About Lost Technology In 1920, engineer Royal Rife created the world's first ultraviolet microscope with a 50,000x magnification, that allowed a live virus to be seen. Fifteen years later, Rife created a frequency generator, resonating with the frequency of the virus, the radiation struck the pathogenic microflora without damaging the surrounding tissue. 
14 fully documented cases of complete healing of cancer patients, and American Medical Association has achieved the cessation of research in this area, the use of his generator in the United States banned. Experiments with the frequency generator were repeated by our contemporaries, confirm the simplicity and effectiveness of the method to combat viruses and pathogens, but for some reason, official medicine, again, refused to recognize the development. The post is not about medicine, but about technology, which science does not allow to people. Siberia without forests. Photos from the 19th and early 20th centuries. There were few forests in some areas of Siberia, even in the early 20th century, and those that were there were not as dense and impassable. And if we conclude even deeper, looking back into the past, then Siberia was completely devastated, both humanly and in other biological components, and this catastrophe occurred quite recently on a chronological scale. Otherwise, we would have seen here in the early 20th century huge thicknesses of humus, peat bogs, impassable thickets, tall and voluminous pines, as tall as sequoias, taiga everywhere. Thus try googling it, 19th century Siberia photos. You will see many photos from the late 19th century, with trees just beginning to grow. There are thousands of photos of giant doors walking around the web, among them, not a few photos of St. Isaac's Cathedral. However, there is one photo that does not fit into the official story of high doors just for beauty, or into the version that high doors were used by riders to enter the room without getting off the horse. The height of the doors is 6-8 meters, and the bolted handrails marked in blue are new for ordinary people. How could there be abrasions on the door at the level of non-human height? Even with the version, open the door from a horse, at this height of scuffs, there should have been a rider not on a horse, but on an elephant. Something about St. Petersburg. Interesting, old French postcard from the middle of the 19th century. More of the artist's imagination. That's what our historians will probably say. It looks like it was during the flood, and when the water came down and the ground dried up a bit, there was this, two photo. A third photo is an inscription on the first card in the old French language, which was translated by a professional translator. It says, in many years to come, when new peoples will be changing, what a surprise will be for the traveler who dares to go to the ancient North Sea. He will be forced to halt his vessel before the gigantic figure of the king, towering over the ruins of a great city, and barely crossing the remains of the castle. He will discover, standing alone, amidst the rushing shafts, or waves, the Alexander Column, confirming once more the unconquerable glory of the immortal and independent in Russia. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.